image on the screen there, I can see an eagle there with the two wings jumping out. That's one, one message there in the cup is an eagle. So this is a coffee cup reading done with the intention of it meaning something to everybody watching the video. Sometimes I also get world predictions in the cup. The eagle can represent a number of countries, including the USA. So it could be something coming up around the head of state, the president of the United States. It could be something coming up around him in the near future. The cup can go out one, two or three months, can also go out to six months at the very most, depending on what's going on in the skies. And if there's eclipse, there's no eclipses right now. I can also see a heart here in the cup. You can see a heart shape. It's on the side there. So I feel like there's a heart element here. There's some sort of love interest potentially popping in and around you at this given time. I might just put some light on just so if I can see any more details in that cup there. Sometimes faces jump out at me. There is a little face. It's like a heart inside the heart. You can see the little face there. And um, it could, it's also, also like a little bear or it's a little cat face. Um, it could be just something to do with Valentine's. It could be coming off Valentine's Day, heartfelt response, something to do with a love interest, a new love interest, a blossoming love interest. Could be that something's gone sideways as well with the love interest because we've got the heart on the side. So it could definitely be that there's been a topsy-turvy type of situation. It could have been upright and then it's suddenly gone on its side with the love interest. But there's a very big heart there, so that's usually a very good omen, a very good um, situation. If anyone does else does see something else in the cup, please let us know. Comment below. I see down here we've got some fish here. There's a couple of fish jumping out there at me. So fish is money, money is luck. We've also got two eyes at the bottom of the cup in sort of like the face of a skull or the face of a an owl. So I feel like there's wisdom, looking at something um, through the eyes of wisdom, also getting insights, information. You could also have past relatives that come to you in dreams, uh, having the skull there as well. There's also two sets of eyes around this particular uh I as well the two eyes are there there's two on the side here so I feel like there's also two other eyes two other sets of eyes that could be watching you you could also be protected with the eye as well there's an eye of protection there's also something that I haven't seen for a while there's next to that there's like a bell I don't know if you can see that bell it's like a bell shape here so there could be some alert or something coming up to do with getting uh, an alarm, alarm bell, something going off, but it could be a bell is heralding into your life. There's some sort of uh, wake up call or a bell. Looking at in the monitor, I can see that there's a bird there as well. So I feel like there's some news coming in. It could be alarming news. It could be some news taking off. It could be alarming news to do with the president even. It could be alarming news to do with uh, some sort of past life dream, um, some sort of message from spirit. It could be something alarming coming up with somebody who's passed over. It could be about them, actually. It could be about them. I'm also seeing a peacock here on the left side. I can see this peacock there. Peacocks are pregnancy and they are also wealth and prosperity. You've got the peacock also in my deck of cards, as you know. Um, for those of you who've been watching me for a while, you see a lot of these symbols inside the coffee cup coming up in the card readings as well. So that some of you might be expecting a pregnancy coming into some sort of new opulence. Somebody's acting like a peacock or showing off in front of you. There could be, um, you could be sort of coming into some sort of opulence, success, something to do with having more money, having more luck in general. Let me see what else we've got here. Two fish swimming here as well. We've got a couple of fish here coming into this 
section on the right and almost like a dolphin jumping out of the wave. So there could be a sense of feeling like you're having more fun. The dolphins often represent fun. The fish are swimming uh, backwards. So it could be money coming from the past. So the fish are coming in a backwards motion there. So that could definitely be on the card. Some money coming back to you from past investments, past loves, past situations. Let's see what else we've got in here. Oh, we've got an elephant here with the trunk up. There's a lot of luck in this cup, actually. See this elephant here with the trunk? It's, it's looking really good. A lot of very nice elements here in this cup today, mainly positive elements. I'm also seeing this symbol here, the elephant plus the other shape underneath it looks like a set of lungs. So it could be a warning to look after your lungs to have your lungs checked, a warning about smoking as well, a warning about uh, just be careful of your lungs, be breathing, that type of thing. Just keep an eye out for that. Big whale jumping out there. Could be a killer whale, could be a dolphin or a whale, but there's a big whale jumping out there. So I feel like there's some sort of, somebody's trying to take a chunk, a bite out of something. There's a chunk coming out. I'm also seeing a chunk of success, potentially a chunk of money with the whale, um, also a chunk of fun. Underneath that I'm seeing here a choo-choo train going backwards. So there could be a situation where you're traveling back to somewhere that you've been before, going backwards, going revisiting a place that you've been before, revisiting a country you've been before, taking a trip to somewhere that you have been before if you wanted to go, or you might have had a past life there but, there, but there's sort of like also mention of a train trip. So some of you might be just literally taking a train somewhere and it could be backwards and forwards. It could be somewhere where you've been before or going backwards, back to a location that you've been before. This can play out in the next one, two, three months, I'd say. I'm feeling like up to three months, but you can say that the cup does run out to six months sometimes. We don't have any long columns in this cup this time around. See what else is there, if there's anything else at all. Then I'm going to have a look at the saucer. There's quite a bit in the saucer. There's a bust of a man here, he almost looks like a samurai, or he's got like a black kind of like turban, a black kind of um, bun, or his hair tied up. He looks like he's got a nude torso. He could be a swimmer, swimmer's cap. Could also be uh, a man who does sports. Uh, wrestling, uh, something like that. It could be also connections to Japan coming up for some of you as well, symbolic of Japan. There's also a heart underneath this person or a chalice. So there could be a reason to be drinking wine or drinking something to success, having a toast, uh, raising your cup to something. There could also be a cup of love coming from this person. Could be somebody who is definitely um, torso nude and somebody who's sporty they're either swimming or sports or boxing or martial arts something around that so that's really nice I might do a wish in the cup in a bit let's have a look at the saucer what do we got on the saucer everybody I think you can see the saucer quite well from there let's have a look at the saucer see what's going on so we've got two columns running down here this is the home base usually the saucer the home where you live um, we've got some fish kind of coming into that. It almost looks also, also like a bit like a um, uh, ovary or a sperm or something like that moving in. So that could also be pregnancy, but we've got two little fish moving up as well. We've also got something here. Looks like a cauliflower or a tree. So there's some sort of growth, but it almost looks like there's two faces on either side. It reminds me of one of those Roman coins with a double-sided face going on, going around here. It looks a little bit ancient, like Greek or Roman. There could be connections here with Greek or Roman or Italian links with this particular image. Also a bouquet of flowers, romance, sweetness of life, flowers, flowers coming to you, some sort of um, new sort of beauty or you might be decorating something growing something some of you might be growing something this to me looks like a person kind of reaching out and then there's a bit of a phallic symbol here 
So it, it looks like two, like a man and then a phallic symbol. So it could be two men if you're interested in men, men to men. Uh, or looking at that closely, it actually looks like a person talking back to the man, somebody bowing down. And this person kind of having an open mouth. They look like they're screaming or they're talking a lot. There's also a fish connecting these two people. So they could be talking about money, talking about success, talking about finances. Uh, it could be a younger and an older person. It looks like a child to me and maybe a parent. There could be some sort of control going on with a child and a parent to do with finances and money in and around the home. The child might be wanting more and might be... I feel like there's a t some tension here and there's some sort of uh, backlash or arguments about finances. There could be the child looks like they're dominating the, the parent and they're grinding the parent down in the sense of maybe asking them for something or asking them for too much, something of that nature. We've also got a mountain here. There's actually a mound in the cup, in the coffee. It's coffee grounds themselves. Let me just tune into that. Looks like a mountain range. Could also be a heart or two overlapping hearts. It could be. It's a bit hard to see on the camera, but it's two overlapping hearts. Could be definitely blossoming love here or hearts growing in the home space. Uh, hearts coming up could be also a pregnancy as I mentioned could be a growing heart in general a growing pregnancy there's also a fish down below Let's see if there's anything else that jumps out there's also a little girl here as well there's like a little cherub or a little girl down here so I feel like she could be in the in the mix for some of you who have children or are thinking about having children, I feel like it'll be a girl if you are looking at having children. There's also a chain of elephants here as well. So I feel like some of you might be thinking about Thailand. Some of you might be thinking about a chain of success, how you're going to be more successful, grounded. Elephants are often lucky, especially if their trunk is up and the trunks seem to be up here. It's also a family focus, focusing on your family, focusing on family heritage, family gifts, family direction, and it looks to me like everybody is going in the same direction. Could be also that somebody from the past in your family is coming back around into your life. There's a sort of a procession of elephants here that comes from right to left. So I feel like there could be a procession of, you know, family members maybe visiting that you haven't seen for a while, popping back up into your life. There's up here, we've got something that looks like Vishnu or Krishna. There's sort of like an Indian type of symbolic guru here. Some of you might be um, making some sort of manifestation or prayers to uh, Indian God or Hindu God. Looks like Krishna or Vishnu or something of that, that something like that. Could also be Lady Buddha. Looks like Lady Buddha as well. There's also a dragon next to Lady Buddha, so it's the year of the dragon, um, prosperity, uh, the year of the dragon taking off, just confirming that. Having the Lady Buddha there is also confirming that you're being protected. There's a lot of protection. It could also be indications of meditation and protection because above that we've got the shark here coming on in. Sharks can be danger, adversity, somebody coming to get what you have or to cause some sort of problems in your life. You're going to hear about the person before they come because you've got two birds here. So somebody's going to give you a warning, a warning about this shark coming in. Let me tune into the cup and see if there's anything else that I see here. There's a sense also of creativity with this saucer. So I feel like some of you are going to be creating something from home. You're either going to be redecorating. I see wallpaper. I see 
uh, some sort of furniture or interior design. I also see you, some of you doing some artwork that is going to be quite interesting and creative in the home space. So let's put the saucer down. I'm going to do a wish for everybody watching the cup. So let's do a wish. Gratitude, blessings to everybody. And see if there's anything underneath the wish that we need to see. Looks like there could be a face there. Let's get a bit of light on that. Looks like a chubby face. Smiling. Could be a child. I'm also getting a bird in there as well, an eagle, fish, which is um, eagles, liberation, freedom, higher, higher knowledge and learning. Fish is uh, success, abundance, money, lucky money coming in. And next to that, we have this image that looks like a bridal dress. Some of you will be getting married. There's a bridal dress there. You're going to have a big gown. There's like a big gown here in the bottom part of this. Uh, the bottom part of this bride. The bride is here. The bottom part of this heart shape. Looks like a bride is formed with a wish. A lot of you will be laughing to the bank. I'm also seeing oriental or Chinese eyes here with this um, image. It's almost like a laughing Buddha or some sort of happy Chinese symbol. And they've got the two fish there, which is Chinese as well, which can be very lucky. I'm also getting two little piglets there as well. Eagle, some of you might be born under the sign of the pig, uh, under the sign of the dragon came up before. Could also be um, be careful for overeating because it looks like a chubby sort of figurine here with the two piglets underneath it. But there's overall a very happy, happy feeling with this cup. There's also a car, really tiny car in here as well. So I feel like some of you will be looking at a car, investing in a new vehicle or doing some sort of a road trip. I'm also seeing a symbol there of the brothers who were the wolves in ancient Rome. There is a, a, a connection here with Rome. I'm not sure why, but I did come up a couple of times in the reading. So I'm just going to put that out there. Some of you might be going to Rome to visit Romulus and Remus. Yeah, so I, I just saw like their statue. There's a figurine statue in, on one of the bridges there in Italy of the brothers so that's really nice everybody all the best with that with the cup okay so now we're going to move on to